Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us once again today. Welcome back. And as you know, we are discussing today impli application of car protex on the family foundations and trust. So as usual, we will start our discussion with recapping of our previous lectures, then we will start the new lecture. So let's start the discussion, please. Okay, in our previous lectures, as, we, as usual discussing, we have already discussed overview of UE corporate tax law. In our second lecture, we'll discuss scope of UE corporate tax law. In the scope, we'll discuss persons, exempt persons, out of scope person, taxable person, we'll discuss resident taxable persons, as well as we'll discuss non-resident taxable persons. Then we discuss exempt persons in detail. We said there are nine persons which are exempt from the UE corporate tax. Four persons are by default exempt. These four persons, in remaining these five persons, they will have to apply to claim the exemptions. Then we discussed scope of corporate law on the out of scope persons. In the out of scope person, we'll discuss natural person, non-resident juridical persons, PE of the foreign PE of the resident person, as well as we'll discuss transparent partnerships, funds, trusts, and foundations. This word is very important here, transparent trusts and foundation that we have discussed very early here. We said transparent trusts and foundations, it will not be subject to corporate tax, it will be out of the UAE corporate tax. Then we discuss UAE sourced income in the, we have discussed three different categories, resident person, income earned from the resident person, a non-resident person, but attributable to the PE of the non-resident person. And we discuss if the income is being earned from the various activities in the UE, it will be considered UE sourced income. Then discuss history of the permanent establishment, then discuss permanent establishment. Again, we discuss three different categories which establish the permanent establishment of the non-resident person in the UE. In the lecture, seminar we'll discussed corporate tax registrations, and these were the key areas that we discussed in detail. Rest of the information is very basic information. Then we'll discuss applications of the corporate tax and the partnership. We'll discuss it can be local partnership, foreign partnership, in local partnership. It can be unincorporated partnership, incorporated partnership. We'll discuss the tax treatment in detail. In our lecture number eight, we'll discuss application of corporate tax in the free zones. We'll discuss the free zones. Qualifying income of the free zone person will be zero rated and all other income of the free zone, qualifying free zone person will be subject to tax at 9%. Then we'll discuss in detail free zones, free zones persons, qualifying free zone person and qualifying income. We we'll discuss the criteria to become a qualifying free zone person, and this criteria may maintain adequate substance in the UE, not elected to be subject to CT, derives qualifying income, and comply with transfer pricing rules and regulations. These are what the previous lectures, and uh, today we are discussing applications of corporate tax in on family foundations and trust. In a table of contents, we'll discuss trust versus foundation. First of all, we need to understand this, what is the difference between trust and foundation. Then we'll discuss the objective of setting up trust and foundation. We'll discuss family foundations as per, as per UAE CT law. 
what is this family foundation now discuss the legal status of the family foundations legal status and then we'll discuss the taxability it should not be legal status it should be family foundation taxability now we'll discuss the taxability of the family foundation there is one provision in the law that the family foundations can opt to be treated as unincorporated partnership and if they have opted it has been approved by the fta then what will be the effective date of unincorporated partnership we'll discuss in detail i have one concern number one as well that we'll discuss and then we'll discuss the summary of our discussions so first of all we need to look into this what is the difference between trust and family foundations i have just <laughs> put in a very summarized table the difference between trust and family foundations the formation basically trust is a tri party relationship there is a one truster there is one trustee and one beneficiary the one truster trustee and beneficiary truster has some sort of asset these assets will be transferred to trustee trustee will be the nominal ownership actual ownership of the assets will remain with the truster trustee will manage the assets for charitable purposes for the protection of the assets and these assets at the end it will go to the beneficiary once these assets will be transferred to the beneficiary truster will transfer the ownership in the name of the beneficiary so basically tri party relationship truster trustee and beneficiary actual owner is the truster on temporary basis on the assets will be transferred to the trustee legal ownership will remain with the truster trustee with the nominal owner and at the end these assets will be transferred or these assets will be utilized for the beneficiary once it will be transferred then truster will transfer the ownership in the name of the beneficiary the family foundation in family foundation is a stand alone entity it's a non profit organization this is the entity this is a tri party relationship example parents who have a trust so that their children and grandchildren receive their assets as they die this is basically a trust they have created they transfer the asset in the name of trust on temporary basis in case of mishap these assets needs to be transferred in the name of their children this is a trust and family foundation like individual can set up families can set up companies can set up foundation the biggest example is the bill and melinda gates foundation this is a foundation they have set up for the charitable purposes so objective both of the both basically trust as well as the family foundation both have the same objectives and the objectives are protection of assets and charitable purpose founding documents here this is the trust deed here this is the charter who owns the asset trust or trustee is a nominal owner here assets are transferred in the name of the foundation manager here the trustee manage the assets here board of directors set the directions of the foundation managerial role follow terms of the contract is the trust and here bod set the directions type through contract or legal entity this trust can be established through the contract or it can be set up as a legal entity as well this can be set up only legal entity So these are the key differences in between trust and family foundation. So we established both here can be set up for the charitable purposes as it can be set up for the protection and management of the assets. The objective is not to do any business. Objective is welfare. Objective is charitable purpose, protection of the assets and management of the assets. Just keep in mind. the family foundations and trust perform various activities and both of these entities basically perform different types of activity these activities are holding assets investing assets distribution disbursing assets otherwise managing funds and associated with the saving document as we discuss basically objective is to get the assets manage the assets for the charitable purpose or to manage the assets for the welfare purpose these they they were they are receiving the asset investing the asset divesting the asset this is their core activities of both of the entities so objective of trust and foundation for family foundation and trust are typically established for the philanthropic purpose to protect and manage the assets of individual or families for future generation their core objective is not to do any business their primary objective is not to do any business but in case performing the activities these activities non charitable or management of assets if they did need to do business which is part and parcel of these activities then definitely they will be doing then we know this philanthropic purpose means mentioned the investing time energy resources for charitable and for welfare purposes 
like eradicating poverty, poverty, promoting education, enhancing the standard of living of human beings. These are the different charitable purpose. So these entities are using their assets, resources, time, energy, everything for charitable purposes. CTLA, this definition is very important. It has been given in the corporate tax law. In the corporate tax law, they have defined the family foundation. They said family foundation means any foundation, any trust or similar entity that meets the conditions of Article 7 of the law. So basically they are asking any foundation or trust, both will be considered family foundations. So trust they are bringing under the family foundation, foundation they are bringing under the family foundations, both since both entity have similar objectives, so they are treating it as a one family foundation. So if any trust, any foundation or any similar entity which meets these conditions, these conditions are all for Article 17 of the law. So it will be treated as a family foundation. From next onward on our next slide, there is no difference in between trust and foundation who will be treating as a family foundation. This family foundation includes foundation as well as trust as well. So these are the conditions. The family foundation was established for the benefits of identified, unidentified, natural person benefit of the public. And so basically this trust, this foundation has been set up for the benefits. Second, principal activity is to receive, hold, invest, disburse, otherwise manage assets or funds associated with savings and investment that we already discussed. This is the primary activity. Family Foundation doesn't conduct any business or business activity that we already discussed. The main purpose is not to avoid the corporate tax. Any other condition as may be prescribed by the minister. These are the five conditions. If these five conditions are being fulfilled, law says that any foundation, any trust or any similar entity will be treated, will be considered a family foundation. So we know this basically now for further discussion, family foundation include trust, family foundation include foundation as well, but these five conditions need to be fulfilled. What is the legal status? Generally, family foundations that are incorporated or established, they are a separate legal entity. Generally, family foundation that includes trust, foundation, or any similar entity, generally these are legal entity, these are incorporated entity, they have a separate legal personality. If these foundations, these trust, or we can say family foundation has a separate legal personality, we know this that as per the UAE law, if any entity is established within the UAE, then it will be considered juridical resident person unless and until this is the natural person which has been registered for tax purposes. So it will be considered juridical resident person. And we know this, the worldwide income of the juridical resident person is subject to tax in the UAE. So this is the generic principle. This is the by default rule. But there are some exceptions and special rules. The reason is these family foundations or we can say these trust, these foundations are not usually being set up to do the business or business activities. Since these are not being set up to do the business, so the special rules have been introduced for these family foundations in the UE corporate tax law. And these special rules are basically We'll discuss on our next slides, these special rules are that the family foundations can opt to be treated as unincorporated partnership. And if they have opted and it has been approved by the FTA, then these family foundations will be treated transparent person. So these are the special rules. Moreover, that, that we'll discuss the family foundation by default are juridical resident person. But there are some cases in the UAE, these some cases are they are saying the trust can be set up in the DIFC or ADGM based upon the contract only. Means such types of trust which has been set up, few trust like trust established in the DMCC or ADGM, these trust which has been set up in the DIFC or ADGM, these trust can be set up based upon the contract only. If these trusts have been set up based upon the contract, means such types of trusts will not have any legal represent legal personality. One, this will not be legal personality, it will not be a legal entity, it will be set up just based upon the contract between the two parties. Law says it will be treated transparent. So, 
So by default, basically, as we discussed, by default, family foundations are a separate legal person. It will be subject to tax, but special rules have been introduced, keeping in view that the family foundations cannot do the business or not set up to do the business or business activity. But option has been given to the family foundation. The special rules are the option is basically they can be they can apply to the FTA if they are applying to the FTA to be treated as unincorporated partnership. If it has been approved by the FTA, then it will be treated unincorporated partnership. So we will summarize the discussions of taxability and taxability is family foundation. We know that this family foundation includes, as per definition of the law, this includes trust, this includes foundation, this includes any similar activity, similar entity, sorry. These three things. But subject to the condition, these are meeting five conditions. These conditions that we've already discussed in detail, they are not doing any business. They are set up for the public welfare. Their activity is specifically defined. They have not set up just to evade the tax and any other direction or any other condition that been mentioned by the minister, they need to comply with this. If these five conditions are being fulfilled, then we can say any trust, any foundation or any similar entity will be considered, will be defined as a family foundation. So family foundation can include trust, or it can be foundation as well. The foundation trust, the two possibilities. Trust has been created as a legal entity or it has been created through the trust, through the contract, sorry. So if this is a legal entity, uh, it can be the possibility it has been created through the contracts. There are no legal personality. Here, if it has been created through the contract, no legal personality here, legal personality. If the trust has a legal personality, then we'll discuss special provision in the law that the trust has opted and approved to be unincorporated partnership. Yes, if it has been opted and approved by the FTA to be treated as unincorporated partnership, then it will be considered a transparent. We know this for the transparent income will be taxable in the hands of the partner. Trust itself will not be subject to corporate tax. But legal entity not opted or not approved to be an unincorporated partnership, if they have not opted, if they have not approved to be treated as unincorporated partnership, then it will be juridical rather than taxable person and their worldwide income will be subject to tax. But if the same trust has been created through the contracts, we have already discussed the contract, they will not have any legal personality. Once these trusts will not have any legal personality, then itself it will be a transparent and income of the trust will be taxable in the hand of the respective parties. Trust itself will not be subject to corporate tax. And we'll discuss the example as well. The trust can, just, can be set up in the ADGM, it can be set up in the DIFC as well. Now the foundations, foundation has a legal personality. So once the foundation has a legal personality, as we discussed, as a special rule, foundation can apply to the FTA to be treated as a transparent. If the, if the FTA has approved it, then it will be considered transparent. So if the foundation has opted and approved to be treated as unincorporated partnership, it will be treated transparent. And if the foundation has not opted or not approved to be unincorporated partnership, then it will be considered a juridical resident person and their worldwide income will be subject to tax. So here the possibility of being transparent here, the possibility of being transparent here, the possibility of being transparent in these two conditions, they, if they are not opt-in or opt-in but not approved by the FTA, then it will be treated juridical resident taxable person. Hopefully, everybody will be very clear on this. Now, as we discussed, trust or uh, foundations or we can say family foundations can apply to the FTA to be treated as unincorporated partnership and if it has been approved by the FTA it will be effective from which period it will be effective in which the application is made commencement of the this word is very important commencement of the tax period in which the application is made from the commencement of any future tax period or any other date determined by the FTA. So from any other date. So basically, if there's a possibility, if they are approving from the 
commencement of the tax period in which the application was made or any other future tax period commencement of that tax period or any other specific date given by the FTA. If the family foundation gets the status of unincorporated partnership, all related provisions of the law that are usually applicable. If the family foundation is not getting basically status of unincorporated partnership, then all provisions of the law, it will be applicable to them because it will be treated juridical resident person unless and until there is a trust which has been created through the contracts. One thing is very important and very interesting here. I have just highlighted it for our discussion purposes. We need to understand it very, very the thin line difference in between this that we need to understand. The definition says, definition says family foundation means any foundation, any trust or similar entity that meets these five conditions. So if any foundation, any trust or any similar entity, if the trust foundation or similar entity meet these five conditions, it will be treated foundation. Article 17 says a family foundation can make an application to the authority to be treated as unincorporated partnership where all of the following conditions are met. This is something unusual for me basically. We have already agreed the same conditions will convert a trust, will convert a foundation, will convert a similar entity into the family foundation if these five conditions are being fulfilled. Then they, it has been written in the law, a family foundation can apply to the FTA to be treated an unincorporated partnership if the again same conditions are being fulfilled. So I personally feel since a trust foundation or similar entity cannot be converted into the family foundation unless un they are meeting these five conditions. And if these five conditions are have already been met, the principally I can say the family foundations is it, itself a transparent because they have already met these five conditions. If they would have not meet all these five conditions, they would have not been treated as family foundation. Or otherwise, it would have been written here, a trust or foundation, trust or similar entity can make an application to the authority to be treated as unincorporated partnership if these five conditions are being met. So basically, what I'm trying to say, the, some sort of duplication of wording, family foundation cannot be established unless five conditions are being met. And if these five conditions are already being met, so they need to straightforward apply to the FTA for being become unincorporated partnership. Uh, if they are asking, again, the family foundation, then the wording would have been foundation, trust, or similar entity. If they are meeting all these five conditions, then they can apply to the FTA to be treated as unincorporated partnership. Again, we need to wait for the clarification. Hopefully they will, for sure, they will give some sort of clarification in the future. So summary of the discussions, in a nutshell, we can say any foundation, any trust or similar companies incorporated and established in the UAE for charitable purpose are to protect and manage the assets of individuals and families if they have not opted or not approved by the FTA to be treated as unincorporated partnership, it will be treated as a juridical resident person and they should comply with the law accordingly. Unless and until these are the trust which has been created through the contracts in the DIFC or ADGM. Frequently asked question, we have found two questions on the Ministry of Finance side. What is family foundation? We have already discussed in the definition that it has been given in the law that any foundation, any trust or similar entity which meets five conditions given in the Article 17 of the law, it will be treated as a family foundation. And they have mentioned the, sorry, they mentioned the same thing over here as well. A family foundation is a foundation, trust or similar entity used to protect and manage the assets and wealth of the individual or family. The principal activity of family foundation will generally be to be receive, hold investment. This is what we have already discussed in detail. As to achieve a charitable purpose, such would typically not constitute a business and business activity, UECD, if they were undertaken directly by the founder. So they're basically saying any foundation set up, any it can be trust, foundation, or similar activity, which is set up to manage the assets or wealth of an individual and family. They are not primary focus, is not to do the business. 
so it will be considered a family foundation but in the law they have given a typical definition of the family foundation so our family foundation subject to uect family foundation would say it can be a trust or it can be it can be trust or it can be foundation as per the law so trust it can be legal it can be through the contracts as well if legal and opted in opted and approved then it will be an unincorporated partnership if not opted or not approved then it will be considered legal juridical resident person in the u it will be subject to tax and if these are the trust created through the trust then it will be considered unincorporated partnership or transparent the same status for the the same status for family foundations are basically foundations as well foundations are separate legal entity opted and approved then it will be treated as unincorporated partnership otherwise it will be juridical resident person it will uh, worldwide income will be subject to tax or tax team you can speak to me if any question mahar at crestcooper.com you can give me a call as well you can speak to faza you can drop her drop her an email you speak to Anwarez or you can speak to Sakib. So if you are looking for any sport on the corporate tax, it will be player supporting you. As usual, we listen, we understand, we deliver. You can drop us an email at info at .com. Thank you very much. This is over from my side. And your question and answer. One question is there today, what if the foundation is offshore based and is earning dividend from share of company based in the UE? What if the foundation is offshore? Foundation is offshore, dividend is there earning dividend. Dividend income is not subject to tax as we discussed earlier. And basically it will be considered, it will be considered the investment and any investment will be considered the personal income. So it will not be subject to tax. In case the investment in the entity, they are earning dividend again dividend will be paid out of the after tax profit it should not be subject to tax but might be they have investment and from the investment if there's a foundation which is based out of the ue the foundation which is based out of the ue if that foundation is earning any other income from the ue then withholding tax will be applicable we know this withholding tax rate is zero percent so this is over from my side. Your questions are over as well. If you have any further question, you are most welcome. And uh, I can share with you the uh, YouTube channel link. You can find all our videos there. Let me find for you. So We are uploading all our videos here and you can find it here. It will be quite helpful for you. If you still have any question, you can divert, write it to us. For sure, we'll come back. Oh, yes. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, one more question. I think I already answered. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.